Hi, I'm Tira Mitchell from Engraver.com. From time to time I get the question, why doesn't the Leica A60 have a headrest? And the answer is that the scope is so well designed and so well balanced that you don't really need one. Anytime you have a headrest or touch the scope, you could introduce vibration. So most scopes don't have headrests because they don't want you to have vibration introduced into whatever you're looking at. One of the reasons that this scope allows you to be a little more relaxed is that it has 38 degree eye tubes. Other scopes have a 45 degree. Seven degrees doesn't sound like a whole lot, but over many hours, it really does put a lot more strain on your neck. So because this scope allows you to sit more upright, you don't have as much need to have to support your head. Another reason that a headrest isn't as important is that this scope has a wider field of view and a bigger depth of field. So you don't have to move the scope around a lot to see a lot. If you do need to move it around a bit, you can gently nudge this part right up here with the bridge of your nose to move but most of the time you can see everything that you need to see and you probably won't be moving the scope very much. If you do need to lock down some parts of the scope, you can lock down the first joint and the second joint and that way everything will stay where you need it and you can move this off to the side and then you can move it right back. It's a fairly easy way to keep centered if you're working on something and that's important to you. One of the best parts about the A60F is how nicely it moves. It doesn't just swing left and right. You can take it with one hand and move it just about any direction. And when you let go, there it stays. You don't have to fight with it very hard. It's balanced. You can certainly by moving this here and locking this particular joint, this keeps the whole thing from moving up and down, so you can keep it at a certain plane. But I don't even bother with that most of the time. I like the fact that I can move it wherever I want and let it go, and if I'm going to be using a saw or need to do other things, I can push it out of the way and bring it right back and get back to what I was doing. If you have any other questions about the Leica A60 or other tools, please email me, tira at engraver.com, and thanks a lot.